Well folks, how are we all doing? My name is Zeppelin and welcome back to the channel. What you are about to watch today is a series of reactions that are covering The Warning's second album, Queen of the Murder Scene. All of these reactions are of the live versions of the song and are taken from live streams that I have done on my Twitch. The Twitch live streams have been going amazingly up until this point due to the support of you guys and this YouTube channel has also been doing fantastic. Hopefully by the time these videos are going out, we are about to hit partner if we have not hit it already. While a lot of what we have done on this channel has been primarily focused on the warning over the last month or so, there is going to be more diverse content coming to this channel over the coming months. So I would really appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel and turning the notifications on as once we are done with this Queen of the Murder Scene album, we are going to be expanding onto different bands, different types of reactions, and then of course the Queen of the Murder Scene album review will be coming out after all these videos and I think you guys are going to want to stay tuned for that. So I hope you enjoyed this series or have been enjoying it already if we're a couple of videos in and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, enjoy, peace. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we are here with the finale of the Queen of the Murder Scene album, the finishing of chapter four, the end. The end. The stars always seem to fade. Michael, you're back. You're back at time perfect because we are about to listen to the final song from the Queen of the Murder Scene album. This album has been a journey to say the least, a journey of ups a journey with some downs but not any severe downs and i have to say I, I i have enjoyed the album have i enjoyed it more than the may day ep no but do i do i respect what it's done yes i i have found the album interesting i want to re-listen to the album to understand it more once we're done with all these reactions so the album has done enough to grab me to kind of retain my attention to kind of further investigate the album in terms of in terms of its thematic elements and kind of what's going on on the underlayer of the music but for now it is time to conclude our initial listening to the live versions of the album with the end stars always seem to fade this should be a good one i hope to enjoy it i hope you'll enjoy the reaction to it queen of the murder scene psychotic and hunter are songs that are connected but crown up because but crown up because of the chapter break yeah I, I could tell i could tell that much to be fair but it it, it um it doesn't really take away from it. It's not like anything really... It's not like the chapter breaks. It's not like they change the music style between chapter breaks. or Nothing overly changes between the chapters in terms of how it sounds. Or even how necessarily live, at least, it's presented. So I don't think it having chapters really matters. But just for the sake of it being a story, I suppose it does make sense. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we go with the end. For a second there, I thought I was going to start into a Kanye West song. I was like, hang on a minute. I don't regret, wish I could forget, cause all the things I've done and all the things I've said don't go away. Please stay with me. It's a good piano part, to be fair. It's like a tension note. It's simple. It works. Okay, is where I'm going to throw the only pause. I like it, but Jesus is cheesy. It's cheesy. And yes, the channel points will be coming eventually. I'm just, again, I'm going to add those whenever I've done all the other things I want to do for the channel. I'm going to get it all done at once. 
holy moly, the song um, revels in the realm of cheese. <laughs> I could just picture, like, in terms of the end, it's not... All right, I, I have to read the synopsis first before I make any presumptions, but it feels like the end should be sadder. It sounds like the end of a superhero movie. I just keep thinking of Nickelback, you know, the one from Spider-Man. I need a hero to save me. Like, it, it's, it, it's got a very type of... Um, uh, ch cheesy 80s ending which given the theme of the album at least until of course I read how the ending goes it seems it seems very out of character it seems very out of um, out of place thematically because the album at least thematically for the most part at least seems to have been darker than this so I don't I, I still have to listen to more I have to see how it goes but it's it, 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 it's got the sound of like the end of a teen drama film or something it's a bit too it's a bit too light-hearted it's got a very typical credits roll type of vibe about it i, I still enjoy like i enjoy it sound wise i'm enjoying the song what i'm judging off here is purely the themes which again as a concept album are sort of important to how you'd maybe judge the judge the songs and this is the first one where for at least up until this point it feels like it's it's sticking out like a bit of a sore thumb in regards to maybe how the ending should sound. But again, I'll be reading the synopsis in my own time, and uh, we've still got the rest of this song to go, so those opinions could change. But let's go straight on to the end before I give my final thoughts. No, I'll never say anything about the memories that live inside my head. They sit with me. They don't go it sounds lovely though, it's a good song like this. I enjoy it. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the end. Stars always seem to fade by the warning. Okay. So that concludes the Queen of the Murder Scene album. Song wise, very nice song. Very nice song. It's one of the better songs in the album, without a doubt. Um, if I was to give it out of 10, out of 10 it's definitely like an 8.7. It lives in the realm of, of, of a song that is very, very good. Um, cheesy at times, but, you know, it, it's good. It's good, I have to say. I, I, I really did enjoy, enjoy it. So I do get my rating of 8.6, 8.7 around that area, but I want to make it clear. I want to make it clear I want it to be a side note. Knuckle, it's bad hands, dry skin. I have, like, skin issues. Yeah, that's nasty. I've had this literally since like as long as I can remember. It's pretty disgusting. I, it's not nice. Not nice. 
But I do want to make a side note, and I do think it's something worth considering and something I will be considering when I do my album review in about two to three weeks' time. Tonally, this song, for me at least, until I maybe do a little more delving, delving into the, um, the album itself in terms of the sound, in terms of the themes, in terms of what they were trying to achieve, tonally, this seems way off. <clears throat> for the ending because it was very dark you could have ended with something that was very dramatic very dark i think one that i absolutely loved in terms of its ending and it's not even a theme that was overly as dark as this but one that i loved the ending of was a song called your blood by nothing but thieves the end of that song revels in dramatic depressiveness it in, in sadness it revels in it's got a real um if you were to tie back to radiohead for example it's got a real um exit music for a film vibe you should have had something in my opinion at least and again this is only opinion based but i do from from my judgment of the album based off the synopsis i've read so far this is what i think and again come the album review so make sure to check out the album review when it's live on this channel my my thoughts could have changed, but where I'm at so far is that the tonally at least the last song was a real miss, a a, a real miss. Um, but I'll figure out more, and maybe those will change when it comes to doing the album review. We will see. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for going on this journey with me with the warning and YouTube. That is where we're going to leave it for now. We'll be back with the album review soon. Take care. Thanks for going on this journey with me and I hope you enjoyed. Peace.